we are getting that much closer to the date of the 6th annual Simon Cox Student Design Competition. For those of you who don't know, the Simon Cox Student Design Competition invites post-secondary students from across BC to design and build innovative assistive technology solutions. They work in partnership with an individual with a physical disability who provides their unique insight and feedback. Together, the assistive technologies they develop foster inclusiveness and facilitate greater independence in the homes of people living with physical disabilities. Today, I'd like to introduce you to some of those students. Today, I have with me Mina, Bruce, and Ken. Could you please introduce yourselves? Yes. Hi, this is Mina. Hi, my name is Ken. Hi, I'm Bruce. What is your project name and how did you choose that name? Okay, so our project name is the MBK Window Controller. And it's just a combination of our initials, uh, M for Mina, B for Bruce, and K for Ken. So it kind of just shows like an equal contribution because uh, we all put effort into this project and we really are passionate about it. What do you hope to achieve with your project? Okay, so we are hoping to present a device that could be straightforward and it's for the physically impaired to use to complete a task. And we noticed that individuals with you know physical impairments might find that performing daily tasks tend to be quite demanding or can only be completed following certain restrictions. So, you know, whether it's an absence of motor functionality or a loss of motor control, we're really hoping to, you know, remove that diminished quality of life when they struggle to carry out these activities. And we aim to return some degree of freedom or control to these individuals for tasks like opening the window. Could you describe the concept for us, please? Right. So we're going to have uh, several parts to this. We're going to have the electrical and mechanical components. So the mechanical component is the actuator, which is one of our core uh, uh, components and devices here. And that is the interaction and the interface between the physical window and our electrical components. And we're going to develop a program and have the components work together to open and close a window automatically using voice commands. Why are you competing in the Simon Cox Student Design Competition? We believe that the Simon's Cock Design Competition is just a great opportunity for us to challenge ourselves to apply what we have learned from school to the practical world. And the potential of our device contributing to help improve the standard of living for someone, I think will give us such a great sense of achievement because we all join the program to contribute back to the healthcare system and give back to the community. So how will this benefit your school? Uh, I think BCIT will benefit from us having participated in this competition just to show the level of dedication and passion that we have with the program. And it really just demonstrates that we love what we do. We have worked so close with many instructors and mentors that will be help us with a future career. We have learned lots from their experience, knowledge, and stories. And I think for us to participate, it just shows that not only do they teach us very well, but they also really care about us as well. So how are you involving technology for living peers? We are trying to like we're in touch with our peer. Our peer is Taylor Danielson. And we're as my teammates mentioned before, we are trying to give him a degree of freedom so we can open and close the window and like to and change the room temperature to the desirable temperature and whatever he wants. So we are in touch with Taylor and through email and Zoom. We are updating him with our progress and let him know when you're standing at. And we also ask him about his ideas and his opinions and his preferences and try to put his demands on our first priority and keep them in mind when we are like designing our device. What has it been like working in the pandemic with social distancing? Working under the pandemic for sure is not easy and it was harder than working under the normal condition. I think it's obvious to everybody. But we made this work like we are following all the protocols and safety protocols and precautions during the lab. And we're all in touch uh, with each other through online platforms like through WhatsApp, Zoom meetings, uh, Google Docs and like all of the stuff that we know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for sure, it's not easy, but it's not impossible. So we made this work and BCIT staff and instructors are trying really hard to help us to get through this hard situation and makes it safe environment for us. So thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I'm sure there'll be many people who will be interested in the applications of your project. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep, thank you for your time as well, Taylor.